Look, there's really no reason to have a boring intro on a YouTube video. I'm going to do two things. Number one, I'm going to shamelessly plug the free set of Minecraft servers that me and some of my friends have set up and keep up to date. Uh, they're both modded and vanilla servers. And then second of all, I'm going to show you exactly how to build your own ultimate reloaded feed the beast server from beginning to end every step along the way. Since this video has no sponsor, I wanted to take a quick second to tell you a little bit about a project that I've been working on. Every single video on my YouTube channel that has done even remotely well has either been centered around my home lab or around Minecraft. And because of that, I started thinking, what could I do to combine these two subjects and provide something to you, the viewer, that would actually be valuable? The more I thought about it, the more I realized that it could potentially be relatively difficult for somebody to run both a dedicated server and the client side of a mod pack at the exact same time. And so I realized I already have the hardware thanks to my home lab to be able to run a whole bunch of these servers at the same time. So why not set them up and just let you guys use them? I currently have my main vanilla server and 15 modded Minecraft servers up and running right now. But by the end of this, I plan to have well over 150 total servers running at once. The goal of this project is simply to allow friends to be able to play with each other on a server without one of them having to take the incredible performance hit of actually having to run that server for themselves. Again, this is totally free, so please feel free to share the server information with whoever you think might actually use it. Okay, back to the video. Okay, so step one is to search for the Feed the Beast app. It'll look something like this. You can literally just click the top link and it'll have an option for you to download this for Windows. I've already downloaded and installed, but you literally just click the button and click install. Once you have it installed, it'll add to your Overwolf extension list. In order to get to that, click down on your bottom taskbar, click the Overwolf icon, and then open up the Feed the Beast app. It'll look something like this. Now, once we're inside of here, we're looking for the ultimate reloaded server. So we'll browse, search for alt. It'll be the first or second one up, the first one on the list, and then we'll click over here on the right where it says versions. This gives us the option to download the server files even further over on the right. So we'll click that. It'll give us a, a selection for operating system. We're doing this on Windows. And then it'll download a server installer for us. We wanna keep that. And then we wanna create a folder to put all of these server files in. I would highly recommend creating some sort of folder structure, especially if you're gonna have multiple of these servers. So once you have that folder created, go ahead and drag and drop the file that we just downloaded into it. Now, once it's here, we do want to make sure we have the correct version of Java. There's going to be a link down in the description to download Java 8, or if you want to, you can just open up a new Chrome tab, search for Java 8 download, and install it from there. Sometimes Java does make you create an account, sometimes it doesn't. It really just depends on the version you're downloading. For 8, I believe it does. Now, once we have the correct version of Java installed, we just have to double click this server installer. It'll ask us if we'd like to create a directory, which you can if you want to. I don't really need to because I already created a folder and put it in here and it's the only thing inside of this folder. So I'm gonna go ahead and just hit enter. It'll ask me if I still wanna put it in the root, hit yes, and then it'll ask me if I'm sure I want to install. Once we click yes on that, it'll proceed to install the server for us. This does take a little bit of time due to the fact that it's installing all of the mod packs for the entire Feed the Beast server uh, and downloading them all as well. So it can take a pretty good amount of time. Now, once that's finished running, you'll notice that you have quite a few more files inside of your folder. The one that matters to us right now is this start.bat. We want to double click this, and then it'll ask us if we want to accept Mojang's end user uh, license agreement, which you have to for every single server you install. Uh, you would think they'd have some way to just to save it, so I don't have to click yes on every single one of these, but they don't. So select yes there, and then it'll proceed to install the server for you. Now, every single Feed the Beast server is different and it always has a different inline. For this one specifically, it looks like the, the Thomcraft stopping aura thread for dimension negative three is the last line for me. Could be different for you. The first thing I want to do though, once it's done installing, is go ahead and make myself a server operator. So I will type in OP and then my Minecraft username. Once we're done with that, I'm already a server operator. So next we want to go check out the server properties file. So we'll open that up and there's a couple things I want to change and one thing I want to note. The first thing I want to change is the max number of users that are allowed online. In general, this is always set to 20. For this specific server, I want to set it to eight. Uh, the other thing you can change is this right here. It's basically the second line on the multiplayer list. So when somebody adds your server to their multiplayer list, the first line is whatever they input and the second line is whatever you want this to be. Uh, for me specifically, I always just put John's server. Now, the last thing we want to note is the server port right here. This will become important when we talk about port forwarding later. So now we'll save that. And in order for any of that to take effect, we'll have to close and stop the server. So go back to the server window, type in stop. 
it'll stop the server. And then in order to start it back up, you just have to double click that start.bat again. Now, while this is running through the start process, I did want to discuss uh, the next steps. So once this is done, your server is completely set up. But in order for any of your friends to join it, as long as they're not on your home network, you'll have to set up port forwarding on your router. Now, it can be a complicated process. It can also be very easy depending on the router you have. If I could, I would give you just a, a simple explanation of exactly how to do it, but every single router is a little bit different and be very difficult for you to figure it out on your own unless you had a guide for your specific router. So that's what I'd recommend doing. Look up a YouTube video or, or a Google search on how to port forward for whatever router that you have and then follow those instructions. You're gonna to wanna to port forward the port 25565 that we saw earlier in our properties file. It's also the default one that Minecraft uses. So from that point, uh, you're sort of done with the server side. Uh, for your friends to be able to join this mod pack, however, they would also have to download the Feed the Beast app, search for Feed the Beast Ultimate Reloaded, and then click the install button, which will then turn into a play button. Once they click the play button, it will open up their Minecraft and then in order to join your server, they will need your public IP address. Now it's the easiest thing in the world to get that. All you have to do is from the computer your server is running on, search for what is my public IP. From there, you can literally copy paste, give that to your friends, and they will be able to put that in their Minecraft as the IP that they are trying to join. From there, they just have to click enter and they'll be loaded into your Feed the Beast Ultimate Reloaded server. So there you have it. You now have a running Feed the Beast Ultimate Reloaded server and your friends should be able to join that server. Now again, if you would like to, you are more than welcome to join my Discord and we will have one of these set up that you and your friends can play on as well. Uh, so look, you've already made it this far in the video. You might as well go ahead and subscribe, like the video if you so choose, and I will see you guys in the next one.